to the second mission for BCS World 2.0 NTTR Red Flag Campaign. Let's get started. Good afternoon, Fords. Welcome to this Red Bus Tour of the Red Flag Range. I was here last year, so I have the joy of being your tour guide. After departure, we'll head west and then north of the Southern Corridor to the Red Flag Range. Four, four, and then to a clockwise route to the blue nine, side nine. of the range, where I'll call out landmarks that we use often during the exercise. Once we are airborne, we'll start the tour. Chevy 1, passing waypoint 2 at 28,000. Chevy 1, on station at Bulls 061 for 70 at 28,000. we are steering on Oops. Four, three, one. Request startup. Forgot to request for startup. Four, three, one. Clear for startup. Wind two seven zero at five meters per second. All right. Four, three, one. Request takeoff. What about over there? Should I move? Four, three, one. Clear to taxi to runway three. Okay. they provided for this campaign, you'll see that you are not allowed to use the RWR or the radar until you are on station, which is waypoint 13 or 12, if I remember, uh, either way. Why am I, uh, oh my god, well it's still out of uh, this NTTR map. Airborne. Maintain heading to 4,000 feet okay. northeast of the raceway. 4-3, fly two-mile radar trail. Two-mile radar trail, okay. Ford 4 passing waypoint 2 at 3,000. Ford 3 one able to clear the takeoff. Yeah. Ford 3 one you are clear for takeoff and ready. Climb 300 oh my at God, please stop lagging. Nose wheel steering off and why you do this to me? Please don't lag. Fifty thousand, okay.
the airspeed should be 400 four. something k. Knots, or whatever it's called. Come northeast, enter the satellite corridor to transit to the red flag picture size area. Maintain okay. formation at 15,000 feet. This part of leg will take us over Quartzsite Mountain. Sally Corridor, let's... The briefing said Sally Corridor is easily identified by the greens that are in the area. And yeah, I don't see green. I mean, my HUD is green. But One and twenty something knots was the desired SP. If I remember correctly, maybe I'm correctly. Mm. Two miles, and we turn northeast. Probably 16,000 should be okay. Off to my right is Arrow Canyon, and off to my left is Hayford Peak. Hayford Peak. Dodge 2. Passing waypoint two at twenty thousand. And Arrow Canyon, okay. I didn't record the first Dodge mission one, passing waypoint I three at Well, I did thousand. record it, but my audio gun was uh, less than desired. So I watched it. I, let's just simply go towards waypoint two and cap there for 20 minutes. Uh, you should, by the way, go straight to waypoint two, not waypoint. Because uh, waypoint one four is four. for some reason uh, right on top of the Zai, which is far beyond the FIFA line, and you will fail the mission if you go straight to waypoint one and don't skip it. So let's just basically cap there. 20 minutes, nobody really says anything to you, you just, when you're done your, with your cap, you, with your full time, you just declare and go home, that's it, and that mission completed, that's it, it's simple and easy and I didn't want to do it again, 9 o'clock, okay. 
that's the Ukrainians because I read the uh, briefings and in the briefing they say that these missions these uh, operations like the red flag uh, are basically hypothetical uh, situations where uh, some um, some scenario is taken like in this one uh, the Ukraine Ukraine people uh, decided to go a bit hostile and this whole area is representative of uh, Ukraine and um, I think Polish maybe maybe they are the actual neighbors so to speak but so there are whoops Without any R V R. Okay. Twenty nine. Never mind. Okay. Basically, somewhere around uh, along the Polish-Ukraine border, we are patrolling and nothing happened yet. This is the start of... We are now entering the southern end of Caliente Alpha. This also marks the southern end of the north-south push line. Off to my west, you can make up the town about That green patch over there, that's an Alamo. Okay. Let's see. Ford 4, yep. passing waypoint 5 at oh 15,000. There's Alamo. Okay. Whoops. Back to formation. Back to formation. Okay. And what's your altitude? Much lower than me. Whoop. Okay. Whoop, whoop, whoop. That's the sound of the RWR, not the police. Mm -hmm. And waypoint five is where we turn. Now. To my east is Caliente Bravo, where flights will marshal before pushing west through Caliente Alpha. Further east is Caliente Charlie, home of the AWACS and tanker orbits. We'll continue pushing north at 15,000 feet. North? Um, dude. No. Okay. Yeah. Again, wrong place for the waypoint. But here's the problem with that. If I follow the lead, I'm not following protocol. Protocol. If I follow the waypoint, forward, forward. I'll passing waypoint, fail the mission. At Fifteen thousand. Fucking stutters, don't stutter. I'm now over Student Gap, the valley between the two peaks. Student Gap marks the ingress point for the southern yeah, three strikes two. people. Passing waves also serves an optimized land for the stretch west. We'll now come west to maintain current altitude. Mm-hmm. 
Okay. See? Waypoint 6. One minute away. Waypoint 5 is a uh, whole... That's far away. Let's give it a little burn. And... Burn and turn. It's the old... <laughs> Just like Archer would say. It's the old burn and turn. Come on. Again. Waypoint 7 is... Uh, holy shit, that's far away. Is that... Can that be true? Ahead of us at the town of Hiko, yeah. the Crystal Springs is further to the south, along the agricultural zone. I am afraid to follow the waypoints at this point. point. Get a lot of distance between me and me. Hmm. Seventeen and a half. Okay. That is about ten miles. Mount Irish. Okay. So I would say that's it. That's right there in the distance because they are. Mhm. Mm there is a something. What's this? Never mind. Shouldn't even be using the RWR right now. If I remember, I'm not allowed to switch it on. Don't really see the reason why. I mean, besides, it's not allowed to, so shut up and do whatever you, you're told. To the south of the container. Okay. This is strictly no fly zone during the exercise. Forward, forward. Heading 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 heading
Seven thousand. Ford four, passing waypoint eight at nine thousand. The peak ahead of us is called No Name. It's just east of the mountain range that marks the FIBA. We'll now come north and run up the east side of the FIBA. The tallest peak to the west is called Belton Peak. The mountain range beyond that to the west is marked by Quartzite. Quartzite will become a call for strike packages west of the FIBA. Let's take it down now to six thousand feet for some terrain masking against the red sands to the west. Mm hmm. That's not a bad idea, actually. Did it say we go around from the east? Seven K and follow the exact right near the farms with Rachel on the eastern side. Red man pads are known to operate within it, so always keep your altitude above twelve thousand feet when flying over it. It is also very visible in four landmark passing waypoint nine at the top. The wing is a gap in the mountain range that marks the FIBA. To the west of this gap are the bulk of the red ground forces. In addition to armor, the motorized rifle regiment also includes SA nineteen SAMs. I should really catch up to these guys. We're now approaching the north end of the Viva Gap, with Reveille Peak off to the west. Reveille Peak also marks the north point of known red ground forces. The next mountain range west of Reveille Peak to the northeast is Cambridge Peak. We're conducting sweeps and serial bunker cap locations to cover egress and strike flights. It's really, really, really fast. So they should wait my right wing until I take For off. Exercise, most of your egress will be something. Here, whereas most of your ingress will be along Mount Irish, pushing from the southern pre strike push. It will be the opposite when pushing from the northern push. Forward four, passing waypoint 11 at 15,000. Where is it? Not worthing ten. Let's go fifteen K.
original starting cap between waypoints 12 and 13 for a plus 20 pull. Okay. 12 and 13 plus 20 pull. Okay. Forward 4, passing waypoint 12 at 15,000. You'll stay slow. Not really. <laughs> but I think choose to do the cap and then go home. How about that? Forty minutes. Minutes. Forty minutes. mistakes in this whole campaign as of right now than there are mistakes in any user made map or mission. The fact that I got this uh, campaign as a gift is the only thing really that keeps me playing it. I wouldn't give 10 bucks for this. And we go back to 12. 12 of 13 are relatively Chevy close six, to each other. So basically, Chevy six, yep. passing waypoint two at four radar work. We can practice our radar work here, which is whatever it means. Basically, targeting the aircrafts that are really far, far away. I mean, um, not that far actually, because, hmm? Okay. Yeah, far. 100. It's also a 100. What's that? Is that some? No. Nothing else. And... That is it. Going around here for 20 minutes.
Chef 86. Passing waypoint 3. By the way, because they're probably lost somewhere behind the Chevy mountain one, or something. Waypoint four at twenty-eight thousand. That I won't even see them. Curious if they ever acknowledge that I'm done with the break. That should be five more minutes. Chevy one oh. passing waypoint a five target. to fifteen thousand. Okay. There you go. Here, have some of this. Two minutes. that qualify as hostile action that I spiked them? I don't think so. That was basically just to let them know that, yeah, we can see you, we can see you.
come on. Please. Engage. They won. Although we have every means necessary to send them off, I would think that most of the red flag missions, the actual red Call flag one. missions, Passing waypoint are two at twenty two thousand. Actually, about practicing. Flight situation and now a bad passing waypoint six at fifteen thousand. Stuff like that. Whoops. Yeah, like me not being aware that I passed waypoint thirteen again and that I'm over the fifteen thousand designated. Altitude. Okay. Two more minutes should do it. And the full RTB. Like I said, routine flights. I just I really hope this was the last one. So, two routine. Patrols should do it. One was, I don't know what that was basically, because this was the uh, familiarization uh, flight with the terrain and everything. The first one was really, I don't know what that was. Basically, if it was us coming to Nellis, you know. Why was there a 20 minute cap for us to sign? Because we were there, and I don't think that you travel with uh, AMRAMs and shit. Especially not towards over uh, commercial and stuff like houses and shit commercial area I mean why would you fly over six on station yep. all time plus 20 plus 20 okay Chevy six is on station and we are off Eight thousand pounds of fuel left, roughly. Yep, that is enough to go home.
There's the... What was that? Mount Irish. And right behind that is the bolt head or something like that. I don't know. I'll probably have to... Yeah. How do you do that? Then two or TB. Mm. Flight RTB. Yeah. RTB. Bye. How do you have no more fuel left? Let me check. You had two bags. Okay, I have two bags too. Uh, what the? Uh, I'm not saying I'm better at managing fuel because I. Ford, four, passing waypoint fourteen at twenty six thousand. to base, but this is strange. Did he not have uh, a full tank of fuel before we took off? Oh yeah, and. Uh, probably should have switched off my lights while I was on the station. Never mind. Next time. That'll be written up on my report card for um, the red flag. Actually, I would have loved to see such things as uh, how much did I deviate from the course during my last mission? Because the last time it was just thrown to me that, yeah, okay, I finished, I mission was a success, thanks, next mission, etc. But in this, I would have loved a, not really a, a um, mission critical option, so to speak, but I would love to see a, um, an FBI, e, what's that called, evaluation of my performance, which was obviously not good, but at least I would see where I need to improve. Maybe in the red flag for the agency, they'll, they'll do that, I hope so. I really do hope. Seriously, bingo fuel. We're halfway there. You, my friend, will not make it back to base. That is a 100 mile run back. Two, spike, four mm -hmm. Two, spike, four This is pretty obvious that what we need to do right now is go straight. I don't usually speed up the missions, but this is more. Right. I mean. 
what was that Georgian campaign for the F-15C was sometimes boring as well but this nothing happened within the last two hours of the mission or the campaign nothing I know that this should mimic the original thing Yeah, okay. But that doesn't mean that it should be boring. I mean, you can talk map for about two hours straight, right? I mean, I hope you can. Because... Whoops. By the way, if I did all the checklists and everything, I would have completely missed the fact that they did not go uh, to checkpoint 6 or waypoint 6, which was somewhere here. And Fever Lion is here. So I would have again crossed Fever Lion and failed the mission once again and seeing as the first mission actually basically failed if I were well, not if sorry when I failed the first mission I failed the whole campaign so I had to restart which means if I failed this mission it would probably fail the campaign as well which is not really pleasant if well, basically, this is only the second mission. I can just fast forward to the uh, first two missions like I do now. But, suppose this isn't the second mission. Suppose this is the... Mm, what's with the... Sixteen, come on. Oh, yeah. So, that's a fun turn. Whoops. Why are we going back that way? No. What did I press? Shit. Again. Never mind. I don't know what I'm doing. So, suppose this wasn't the second mission, but this was basically the tenth of the ninth, or, or the ninth, because they said it's a ten mission campaign, which is short to begin with, but never mind that. That is cool. That is basically good, because as I read from uh, some of the uh, interviews and whatever, the red flags usually, in the red flag campaign, one pilot usually does about 10 to 12, 15 tops missions, or even less. So, the 10 missions, uh, when talking about red flag, is not that bad, it's not short, but if I fail the whole campaign based on one little mistake that I didn't make, it was the waypoint was on the wrong place, in the wrong place. That means that this wasn't really thought through. Ford 4, passing waypoint 17. I don't at think I should 000. be punished for a developer's mistake. But let's set that aside for a second. If I failed the ninth mission, same reason for the tenth, I would have to retry the whole campaign, which is mm, mm -hmm. for me, who is not very good at the F-15C. I think that would be that would discourage me. 
Yeah, okay. Bye, too. Yeah, um, and maybe take a look at number two's uh, fuel limit or fuel uh, capacity next time before you tell him to funnel me all the way. Well, he didn't have enough fuel. And now his. Is that him? Yeah. No. It's 42. Okay. There's Nellis. Okay. Let's check in and inbound. Four, three, one, inbound. Bags. Come on. Oops. Yo, yeah, okay. There you go. Because of drag. And there's the mysterious bug. I don't know if that's a bug or I'm just an idiot and program something to my button which is basically leaking fuel yeah no that's oh sorry that's smoke that's actually okay. I'm stupid I am okay never mind never mind Come on, where are you, center line? 200 knots. 180. And touchdown. Get the nose down as well. Push it. Okay. Push it to the limit. Yeah. Walk around. Still, I can still have a hefty amount of speed. Let's just break it down. Most wheel steering on and. rolled off from somewhere over there. Alright. I think I should have exited right there when it said exit now if you do not wish to be bored out of your head. Well, Next time, I shall take their advice. Are those mix? No, 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 no. F 18s. How did I? Never mind. Grooved into place. Come on.
Smile and wave, boys. Smile and wave. Bye.